where he had the enemy by running from. We were ready to fight, but he kept them, he kept them moving. He kept them moving to where they outran the supply line. And then he turned on them. And he done a good job. I mean, he he, he got uh, Santa Ana, the, the Napoleon of the West, caught him dressed up like a woman trying to escape. <laughs> He did. Uh, well, he's it's a shame smart. he didn't hang him, but he let him go. Yeah, you know, Santa kind of like George Anna. Bush turned old Saddam loose the first time. Really? Well, Santa Ana had uh, twice as many men in his army. I know, but and he didn't have any Tennesseans. That's didn't have Sam Houston. Them hillbillies can fight when they're mad enough. Yep. I'm glad I ain't. A, I'm glad I'm a pacifist. <laughs> he too. Sam Houston's a pretty good sized boy. He was. I didn't know that. Yeah, he wasn't no runt like some of us. Did you know he was uh, president? He became the president of the Republic of Texas. Yes, I did. He was a pretty wise hombre. We're heading out. Is this where? That's out in the yard there. Yeah. Whenever we come out of the museum, went down and looked around. They've really? got. That's a good. You can go there. You you can go there and spin the butt ahead. And maybe kids get in free, I'm not sure. But they've got picnic tables. That's the schoolhouse down. You want to see it? Yeah, it's, it was beautiful. It was quiet. It, it was out in the middle of nowhere, it seemed like right it. Right there to where the W's at and now here. What? Where the W's. What? I don't get that. No, H. H is in the middle of nowhere. Oh. Oh. Right there where the H is. <laughs> anyway, that's the schoolhouse <laughs> right yonder. See that? Yeah, yeah. And I like the way they left the log out there so they'd have windows. And the windows fold down, the boards, the shutters fold down to make a table around the house. That way you could sit there and eat and look out the window. And you'd have a view. That's yeah, right. a view. You could see. A room with a view. A this is the original room with a view. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, buddy. That's his school house he started there. He'd done it for, to make a little money. And then he went off and got to be a lawyer and governor. He was a governor. He got kind of disappointed and fell out with his first wife and took off and hid in the woods. My kind of guy. No comment. You know, even though he had little formal schooling, he, and not only did he begin establish a school that was very successful, he was also a lawyer. A lawyer? A lawyer. What did they practice? Law? <laughs> I didn't talk like that. You just did. Okay, he was an attorney then. He's a lawyer. He's he a practiced lawyer. law. Yep. Lawyers practice law. Lawyers practice law. <laughs> law, he, law. He was, he was a very much an entrepreneur. He's also one of them Masons. He, um, went, his tuition for the students was eight, only $8 a term. And what he did was uh, he'd take part of it in cash and part of it in corn. What do they make whiskey and reset it? <laughs> no, actually, the other third he got, he took calico and he made his clothing with it. I mean, this man was, he did it all. He was a seamster. He did it all. He is, that, is that a word, seamster? He, if he, you didn't have seamstresses, you should have seamsters. He wiped out his debt within six mo months and had money left over. And then he joined, That's the, the kind he went of out and became a warrior. Yep. Tell that story. Which story? Well, he, everybody said he couldn't. He couldn't do it. Said it would take him what four years to. Oh yeah, yeah. He was going to go off and be a lawyer, and you had to get a real serious education. And it took three or four years, and he got done six months or so, and come on to the house and went to law. In six months, I thought it was eighteen months. Yeah, you know, I fudged a little. I think so. How long was it? I don't know. I'm not. Sure. You're a historian of the group. What did I keep you around for? Because I make good pies. Hello. <laughs> really good pie. Uh, by the way, you really, this is an interesting little excursion. It, it just, it, it costs you more to drive there than it will to get in. And it'll educate you and your kids. And you can have fun. You can enjoy this little trip. It's not a great big thing. But if you go there, you can spend three or four hours reading and then seeing everything, and you'll come off smarter than you was when you got there. It ain't like some some situations. I have run into some people where I could talk to them for a couple hours and end up dumber than I was when I started. 
maybe that says more about me than it does them. But this is a trip where you can go and actually leave more informed than you was when you left, when you got there. Yep, that's the way it is. There's a close-up of a burnt log. Now, why have we got a picture of a burnt log? You must have took that one. Yep, I did. I wanted to... See, this is what it was like when the kids came into the schoolhouse. I doubt it. Well, look, sure. This is what it felt like. They sat down at that chair there. I went over and looked at that burnt log. <laughs> they warmed themselves up. They gave... With that burnt log. No, that's where they give the teacher an apple. And then they go back and sit down. They didn't give them apples when they were off season. Well, that's true. Nope. Oh. What'd they give them? They give them another stick of wood. That other one's about gone. <laughs> they ought to. <laughs> it was a pretty place, though. Yeah. Quiet and lots of birds and squirrels. Butterflies. And butterflies. And, mm -hmm. Squirrels. Well, I looked back in my notes and found out you were right. It was He didn't even go to school to be a lawyer. When uh, when he resigned his commission in the army, he went back and started reading law. And uh, six months later, passed the bar exam and began practicing. Told you, told you, told you. I, I six know. Months. Six months later, he started practicing law in, in Lebanon, Tennessee. Lebanon. Yeah. Lebanon. Hmm. That's where they've got the cedars. Cedars. The cedars of Lebanon. Oh. Then he no, was, I guess that's a different one. One, Clahil Gabron. You remember Clahil Gabron? He's the guy who wrote that thing about, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. And then in later life, it was a, another politician stole that line. <laughs> that's what I, I hear. I don't remember who that was. That's a pretty view looking out that crack in the wall. Mm-hmm. He, um... After he became a lawyer, he was uh, nominated and won the office of Attorney General in Nashville District in Tennessee. A lawyer? A lawyer. Okay. Then he became a Major General in the Tennessee State Militia. A Major General. That's what this, that's what this. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. The ghost of Mrs. Houston. <laughs> the ghost of Christmas is past. Be nice now. I'm always nice. That's some of that creative photography there. Mm -hmm. He uh, hung out and was good friends with Andrew Jackson. Yeah, that's for Jackson sent the Indians to pack him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Houston became the governor of Tennessee. Yeah, he was governor of Tennessee and president of Texas. Mm -hmm. He was uh, a member of the Cherokee Nation. Mm -hmm. He uh, married well two or three times. Yeah, his his first marriage was... Um, to an Indian one, or is that a No, second no, one? his first wife was to a well to do lady down there in Nashville, and he, they split up right quick, and, and, and nobody ever knew what was going on, but something didn't, something didn't fit, and they split up, and he, he was shunned by the local uh, gentry, the local society, because he had, he had left his woman, and he went off and found him a squall and they done pretty good I reckon. I think maybe that might have been better for him than going on to Texas. But you know what David Crockett said when they lost the last election for, for Tennessee legislature? Well, or, it's the, well not Tennessee legislature, but he was from Washington uh, to the state House of Representatives. He said they can just all go to hell, I'm going to Texas. <laughs> Didn't work out real good for him, but he certainly didn't make a name for himself. <laughs>